Hoodie fam, what is going on? I know I'm super late on this. I, I just don't have the time during the day for some reason to do these, even though I work from home. Uh, I just don't have the time to read the whole blog to you guys. So I usually do it the day after. Now, we're here for the blog. Now, I obviously watched the thing when they did it yesterday. I did read through the blog. Um, you know, I, I was interested. I just couldn't get the video out. So we're going to go over it now. Uh, it was the My NBA and My GM Courtside Report. Now, I believe tomorrow, which would be Thursday or on Friday, they're going to put out the W News. I'm going to guess tomorrow. I I'm going to guess. But it could be Friday. We'll see. So this is the My NBA and My GM. Now, I'm really excited about that. We'll talk about it when we get there. Um, it says, take control of an NBA front office and build the next great dynasty in My NBA or My GM. Uh, all encompassing general manager mode. So you have the court chart report that you can watch, but we're just going to read the blog like always. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on these videos. If you're new here and you just found my channel, welcome, go like and subscribe so you don't miss any of these content for NBA 2K25, the videos, and every other game that I play and cover maximum football. I got something new starting up. Um, you guys will see that tomorrow. Uh, to be exact, actually. So, we got build the next great dynasty as general manager on new gen calling in armchair general managers in key keyboard coaches. Build the next great dynasty on new gen. Test your ability to juggle the lofty expectations of an NBA fan base and team leadership while assembling a championship roster on PS5, uh, basically on next gen. This year, we're giving you the power to create your own backstory, control the narrative surrounding your success. Now, my GM is back. I'm, I'm so happy for this, dude. I'm, I'm so happy for this. There's such a cool feature with this. I missed my GM. My NBA also has always been on last gen. First time it's coming. There's so many. There's so much coming to 2K25 that I'm so excited about. If you missed the videos, go check them out. I covered all the news so far. You'll know what I'm talking about. So we got my GM finally. This looks insane. Uh, we got my GM returns. This role playing franchise mode puts you in the role of an NBA team's general manager. You'll navigate roster building, managing your governors and team expectations of you, and much more as you run a world class championship NBA franchise. So we have backstory of X player. Uh, X scout, quant, capitalist, closer, custom. Uh, you have starting attributes, obviously increases the team chemistry. So I think you, we'll go over it here. So it says pick a backstory. So they will. We have redesigned my gym to be even more of a role playing experience this year. When you'll start, you select a backstory. Are you an X player tra transitioning to the front office? An X scout experienced in identi identifying talent? A savvy with the financials? A capitalist focused on making a splash with your deep connection or a closer not or a closer knowledgeable in the art of a deal. You can choose from these options and create your own backstory. Your backstory determines your initial attributes, which in turn which your backstory determines oh my god, I can't talk. Your backstory determines your initial attributes, which in which in turn determine your baseline boost and lead to different play styles for running your franchise as you navigate through conversations. For example, having many more points committed to offense would enhance your team's scoring prowess, while having many points dedicated to charisma would open up a new conversation options to lead to more to a more diverse set of goals to target and some routes that can provide more XP. Interesting. So here are the here are the ones that make up your GM. You have offensive coaching improves the team's offense, of course. Uh, defense improves the defense, of course. Sports medicine is interesting. Pro improves the team's training and reduces the impact of fatigue and injuries. That's kind of glitchy. That's kind of glitchy. That one's cool. Business uh, improves team attendance. Charisma affects trades, contract negotiations, and team morale. And then analytics improves scouting, of course. Pretty straightforward there. Sports medicine, though, is kind of glitchy because your players wouldn't get injured and fatigued as much, which would help them throughout the season. So I kind of like that. Uh, we have perks. Interesting. We have perks. As you complete goals, you will earn XP and level up to unlock more attribute points and new perks. While attributes offer broad benefits and affect conversation choices, perks are unique abilities that offer dramatic boosts to specific areas of your GM skills, both on and off the court. Each backstory starts off with a unique perk already equipped. Most levels would give you an additional attribute point. However, at levels 4, 8, 12, and 16, 
you'll receive an additional perk, and once you hit the level cap of 20, you'll get two additional perks. Level 12 is another important level, as every backstory will be able to pick their exclusive ultimate perk. For example, if you're an ex-player, you start off with the former player perk. You can read the locker room and are able to, to relate to your players, so that gives you a team chemistry boost all the time. Wow. Generally helps ensure that your team will be playing its best. At level 12, you'll be able to select the Lionheart perk, which, in, which ensures your players start warm and your star player starts hot when facing elimination in the playoffs, bringing them closer to achieve, achieving takeover. Wow. So you can read the locker room, relate to your players, you get a team chemistry boost all the time, and then your players start, and then at level 12, you get the Lionheart perk, which ensures your players start warm and your star player is hot in the playoffs facing an elimination game. Wow, that's 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 dope, bro. That's dope. Uh, 2K25 is loaded with perks with 55 available to shoot from at launch, and you'll, and more will and more set to be unveiled throughout the year. When you begin your character creation, you'll be prompted to pick one to two perks and then learn more as you level up. Take a look at the perks below. So there's tons of perks, coaching, training, and business. Uh, you got budget, you got revolving door. Um, abilities, increases the abilities of staffers but they are less likely to resign. Uh, you got sleep doctor, you can help increase fatigue recovery. Just some of the ones here. Floor general, offense abilities boosted when using the play call function. Um, analytics, you got charisma. There's tons here. If you want to go through it, you can read it in the blog. I'm going to link the blog down below. Uh, winning culture, team chemistry is increased even more for winning. Wow, okay. That's kind of crazy. Now you got background perks. Former player, work harder, not smarter. Lion harder, we heard about. Uh, closer puppet master opposing GMs will occasionally come to you with incredible flavor favorable trades Wow, that's that's interesting uh, rest in relaxation replenish all chat points at all start break so there's some glitchy ones here uh, this is level 12 the bottom ones yacht party after winning a championship increase the potential of all your players by one so this is interesting like I said I'm gonna link the blog so you can go through it all but there's definitely some stuff here um, like I said, if you if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Go like, go subscribe. Uh, we got goals and conversations now. This this part to me looks really cool, bro. This part right here, uh, a core part of my GM is conversations with your staff and players as you manage everyone's needs and the goals they set for you. We focus on a smaller number of impactful conversations for a better experience rather than overwhelming you with constant chit chat requests. So you got here. You got this guy says, well, obviously I want to win as many titles as possible. How many do you think you can get in the next three years? You can say you're going to get three and get three rings. You can say it's not guaranteed with injuries and hot streaks. I don't want to promise something I can't deliver. Um, zero chance we miss the finals in the next three years from and win a few titles. And then so you're looking to create a legacy. Then is it okay if we talk it out of it first? So, uh, you know, you probably want to think about what you choose here because... Three years, three rings is kind of crazy, but you never know. Uh, it says your backstory and attribute ratings come to play during these conversations and unlock more paths by determining the dialogue choices you have available to respond in a way that best satisfies your goals. Uh, perhaps your team's governor wants to give you a goal to win a championship this year as you progress through your conversation. You'll come to several choices in how to direct the conversation. You can be a yes man and agree to the monumental task or decline and risk the governor's wrath. But if your charisma is high enough, you can go down a route where you set up easier goals, such as only making the conference finals. The The routes unlocked by your attributes aren't always the best option based on your situation, but the harder objective, the more experience you receive. It's in your hands to determine what goals are are and use your unique style and strategy conversation to shape your my gym story so this top one would give you more uh what did it say more experience but if you fail i'm assuming the experience hit would be really tough so interesting now this feature right here is amazing my gm building uh it says brand new 
on next gen is the MyGM building a free roaming space where you can take control of your MyGM to carry out responsibilities as the brains of the teams. When the governor or one of your staff members wants to have a conversation with you, you'll see a notification on the calendar or other landing menus. Maybe the CFO needs to talk to you about cutting costs or managing public opinions. Or the head coach wants to talk to you about a lineup change. You can then go into the MyGM building and walk up to them to have a conversation in person for a more authentic experience. So you can just walk in the building, in the city, I'm assuming, and you can just talk to them. Like, that's awesome, bro. I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. Now we have leaderboards. It says the ranked mode from the previous MyNBA is now tied to my GM. Complete with others to see how quickly you can hit level 20. If you, if you get fired by your governor, it's game over with so many options and ways to play. We're sure you'll have a ton of fun trying new GM builds as you make your best way up the leaderboard. So you can get fired. So if you mess up, you're just done, bro. You're just done now. Eras is back. Uh, I just found out about this mode last year, and I, I liked it. We're probably going to do a series on this. Um, it's only era they added was the Steph era, the Curry era. So, I don't know. We'll probably play them all, maybe. But it says, eras in my NBA take you back in time to start your league during the greatest periods of NBA history. The Magic versus Bird, Jordan era, Kobe, and LeBron era all returned, so they were in there last year. On uh, new gen in NBA 2K25, along with the new Step era. Step era. The Step era begins during the 2016-17 NBA season. You can relive the legendary Golden State Warriors with Curry, Durant, Thompson, and Draymond Green, or try to stop their legacy as they dominate the league. So you got the Step era, the modern era, the LeBron, Kobe, Jordan, Magic versus Bird. While the Warriors and Cleveland Cavaliers led by LeBron James and Kyrie were the heavyweight matchup heavyweight matchup year in year or year after year during this time period. This is a historic era for many reasons. Former teammates James Harden and Westbrook were thriving as solo artists, delivering MVP caliber performances on a near nightly basis. Harden powered the Rockets record breaking offense and Westbrook joined Oscar Robinson as the only player to average a triple double over the span of an entire season. Out in the East, Giannis started emerging as a superstar in the Bucks, and the Celtics were busy piecing together their pair of the future champions in Tatum and Jalen Brown. The Step Era boasts some of the greatest NBA superstars at their peak with budding talents that make a name for themselves. You have Curry right here just throwing up his hands like who's going to stop me? No one. Uh, more NBA buying and more my NBA improvements. Um, you're going to be able to customize in my NBA to degrees you've never been before. It says my GM includes a bevy of new exciting features. We make sure to give my NBA some love. Also, from the NBA Cup to streamline my staff management and more. Take a look at some of the key updates. So they have the NBA Cup, which I haven't watched the NBA in a while, but I guess I guess there's an in-season tournament now. It's now called the NBA Cup. I guess I don't know. Um, but it says the NBA Cup, which debuted as an in-season tournament in last year NBA season, has more in-depth integration into my NBA modes. This tournament consists of a, of a group play stage followed by single elimination knockout rounds. And on uh, new gen in 2K25, the NBA Cup now supports between 12 and 36 teams with dynamic groups that change from year to year as you simulate the future of the league. Interesting. It introduces full fluidity to add or remove up to six teams to the league each and every offseason rather than being limited to a total of six teams per save. Whether you want to accurately recreate the league's expansion, boom in the 80s or 90s, or dramatically increase or decrease the size of the league in the modern era, this unlocks more possibilities to do so. They also have league news and eras. So this is pretty cool. I did read this, and I thought this was interesting. When you start from a historical era, the way league news is delivered to you changes over time to authentically represent represent what it was like in each era. Previously, this started as the 2K Times newspaper evolved into a web 1, 1.0 page and finally became a social media feed. In 2K25, we had added a new 2.0 web page format to bridge the gap in the late 2000s between the start of the internet and modern day social media. This web 2.0 page is designed to reminisce of how 2K game menus looked in 2K11. So that's fire. You also have streamlined my staff management. Uh, previously, my staff had up to 17 staff positions surrounding your GM for you to fill and manage, but we noticed this could be overwhelming. This year, my staff management is simplified to your governor, GM assistant, 
GM, chief financial officer, and the head coach, head scout, and team doctor. Instead of managing all the staff within these departments, you can now hire bonus staff under each department as you need. Bonus staff are an easy way to boost the performance of the department with having, with, without having to micromanage hiring and firing the extra staff. We want to make a big push in the playoffs or want to make a big push in the playoffs, moves the bonus staff to head coach, try to cash in on a ton of draft picks, move the bonus staff to head scout, you'll have the flexibility to balance what you want out of the team as well as well as any other task you might have if playing my GM. And then closing remarks, it says, now that you learned about the update, it's time to put them into practice, assume the role of a general manager, prove you have the knowledge and skills to create the next dynasty, whether you decide to add this storied history of the franchise or do something that's never been done before we can't wait to see you succeed if you haven't been if you haven't already check out the courtside reports about the pro play and the my career so not too long of a blog for this one but a lot of good news i mean this the my nba improvements i mean it you know it's it's okay i guess i'm still probably gonna play it i think um we might just do the steph era though dude i'm i'm not too sure um I don't know about that. The the my GM though, I remember this, and it used to only be in in last gen, and I missed it so much. So we're definitely gonna do my GM for sure, because this right here is cool with the the conversations, and then the building, bro. The building is mad cool. So I'll probably focus more on my GM. But let me know if you want me to do you know the Steph era at least. We could probably just do the Steph era, and then. We'll focus on the MyGM building. But let me know down in the comments section. Let me know if you're excited for this. What one you're going to play. If you're going to play both. If you're going to go through all the eras. Um, you know. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said. Drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. I will cover the W news that comes out. And then. We have. My team news. And then the city reveal. And then season one. Uh, which I believe is on September 2nd, and then the game early tip-off comes out September 4th, and then if you don't pre-order it by the 4th, you get it on the 6th. But let me know what you guys think. That's the blog. I'll link it down below if you want to go check out the perks and stuff. I didn't go over them all. Let me know what you think about both modes. Let me know what you think about the building for my GM, the perks, and uh, you know the backstory. But that's going to be it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. Go like, go subscribe, leave a comment. Really helps me out. Really helps the YouTube algorithm out. I appreciate all the love and support you guys showed. Tomorrow there will be a new game, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, Hoodie Fam, I will see you in the next one. We're so close to NBA 2K25. I can't wait to bring you guys content. But I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day or night. It will be night when I get this out. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.